Welcome to Factorio Megabase in a Book. My name is Nilaus and we are continuing, of course, with our lovely series here. And we are continuing thanks to all the lovely patron supporters who are supporting. If you're not noticed it yet, uh, at the start of the episode, there is in the lower left hand corner a name of the, the dedication of this episode. So every Templar of the Path gets their own episode and that is kind of how we want to project it. Because of that, I am also designing towards a Megabase of... Uh, Basically, we want to make 2,700 signs per minute. And then if we do that, then I'm going to make it up to 5,400 signs per minute. And uh, then it'll probably break. But then I'll go like, oh, well, too bad. There are no more patrons left, so I don't have to fix it. Something along those lines. But of course, I'll never admit it if you uh, confront me with it. What we're going to do, to do today is continue on our, whoops, on our science. And what do we, so in order to continue our science, apparently I need to send out my my uh, robots out here uh, this is not a, like monstrously critical is it it's actually not at all critical but it's just one of those things that if when you get started on when i get started on, on loading up the game i always want to do, just do something that's mindless while i um, while i just warm up and figure out what we want to do okay they are actually taking a bit of damage i'm also being extremely careless here right i just wanted that one okay so you have now done this there, 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 and then go back. Good. All right. What we're going to do is continue with the green signs. We have a few things I'd like to do. I'd like to get that blinking blue thing away. I would like to get the green signs, and I'd like to get some signs back here in the base. I think that is actually a bit too much, so that is a problem. This one as well is not hooked up to the global network. That was one comment that I got, and very good comment. Thank you. This is not saying that it demands anything, nope. But now it will be whatever it demands, it'll go in here. So the demand is actually quite low at this point. That's not a big surprise because we should have everything we need at this moment. Uh, so what is it we want? Well, first thing is green science. I, don't, I do would like to actually build it down here as well. It's about the same size, it does about the same thing. And I think it'll be nice to put here because again, it's close to the iron and copper and greens, so one, two, three, it can't be built on this side where it could have been built, but um, then, yeah, we'll build it on that side. That means I need to go, ooh, 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 yeah, that was a bit risky. What is, okay, I well, hold on. First, need to get to my train. When we are on the train, then I can schedule all of the solar panel expansion because that's always something we want to keep going. Everything here in the home base just seems just fine. Nothing to worry about, I think. And if there's something to worry about, we probably hopefully have some notifications. So as I'm driving there, it is also time for us to expand out to this one. There. Expansion, expansion, expansion. That also... Uh, there, we just get the last bits of power poles on this side. And as you can see, this gets smaller and smaller every time, but then we are going to get into the next part, and that will be up here. That needs to be done, and there. We'll just start building this part so we can get the salt, the, this part going, the uh, landfill going. And once the landfill is going, then I think we're going to be good, right? It, we're going to be good. So we get the landfill, we get all that, and... So this one is for solar panels, this one is for landfill, and we need to, oh, we're already here, nice. And I should have taken that one out first with all of that, should have prepared that, but I didn't, that's okay. We are going to, well, you know what, we're probably going to take, like all of this is probably going to be exactly the same as previously. Because this seems to be pretty much the same way we do things every time and which is a good thing by the way it's not a bad thing to do this thing the same way if you figure out a solution to something don't just it's, it's good to keep copy pasting it there and go out here do we want to bring the bitertrons or the here we'll bring them closer and i'll take a look at you yeah you've cleared out the space somewhat somewhat but not great and are you still okay? You okay, buddy? Eh, not great. We can do like a small foray out here, just clear the, clear the closer stuff. That one, that one, that one, that one. 
these are pretty simple and then go back here then we don't need to worry about that and this is also apparently not correct as i can see it here because in we are copying the red signs into the green signs and green signs will need actually it's only going to need two things it's going to need iron inbound and green circuits inbound but it doesn't need copper inbound no that's that's actually nice so it is also two inbound that's easy let's get this one done and we still have enough rails yep rails are good there and this one will be this station will now be active and there should be someone coming in that is excellent we will need to take all this and there is a command for or removal i don't know if i actually built the added the ore removal into this game so uh, we will just remove the ore because i don't want as soon as i build on this i'm never going to tap this anyway so we need to uh, need to remove that the way i remove ore is by issuing a console command that looks like this and i found this on the wiki so i don't know this one by heart and i don't know why it does what it does but it well i do but uh, I just execute the command if I have an OR that needs to be done. It doesn't require any mods. It's just in uh, a console command that just gets rid of any nearby OR. So that's how I, I do things. And I would also obviously only do it if I know for certain that I'm going to get rid of it. So what are we going to do? We are going to do something we've done before. We have done all the hard work, the heavy lifting in uh, previously. So now it is about utilizing our design. Ooh, that's that's something Ooh. <laughs> okay this is interesting because this is uh, way bigger than i had anticipated that is for sure a an issue mm. i think i might need to redesign this because this is way too long for one city block right okay well that's interesting so how are we going to redesign this? The thing is, like, if I... Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm going to start by building it. Because that has to be done. Otherwise, I can't redesign it. We're going to do it pretty much the same way. This one, let's see how much it actually takes in. It takes 58 iron in. That's what we see on this these sides. This is iron in. This must be that part in. And... So what I'm definitely doing is, I think the whole thing can be a, so much simpler than this. So let me just start by, by what? By what exactly? All right, this is interesting. Because the reason why I think this is too big is, well, obviously, I can't get eight lines in on top here and four lines. I can't get 12 lanes in on top. So I'm going to have to build it smaller than this. This is, this is... 1350 per minute so two of those will be 2700 and four of those would be 5400 yeah so that's uh that's clearly not happening right i kind of want to copy it on the side but i want to do it in a different way i want to do it like this and this one should have none of these in and if you can see here, then I think I can do it like this because this is producing twice as much as I need. Whoa, where my, where be my, uh, oh, okay. We'll go grab some of those, some modules or maybe not modules, but beacons. Oh, modules as well. And uh, get some of that, get some of that. Okay, that's a lot. Anything else missing or lacking or short? Not really. Not yet, at least. So this should be good. And I'm just going to mirror this one from the other side. Just so that we are completely useless, right? This will be... What do we want? I want this one. Two outbounds. This will be on one side, going in something like this, and then that one in. Yes, please. Here. Except that 
I'm definitely going to get all the iron in, on this side. Yep, for sure. Easy. And one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think I need double this. This is, okay, seven and a half per second. Definitely don't need that. It's Twelve and a half per second. That might be. Okay, so this is actually good. All right, that goes up, that goes down. Is it fast enough? It's not fast enough, but on the other hand, this is also producing 15 per second. And if I look at this entire thing, which I'm designing the whole thing for half as big. What am I looking for again? Oh yeah, here, this is way overproducing. One is way overproducing. And so one will be way, way overproducing here. <laughs> That's good. What I need now is the green circuits coming into that one. I guess I'll just do it this way. And how much? 12 and a half. That is kind of getting a bit too close for my liking in terms of having just a single inserter here. Huh. If I'm saying this one has to be two, but it's gonna be because it's a shorter belt. That might actually not be a problem. Can it pick up at 12.5 from a belt? Oh, hold on. Does it need to put in from 12.5 from a belt? I don't know. This is 22.8 and then I need to make something uh, definitely not as big as this. I'm just going to build it where the other ones are. There we go. And... Alright, let's see. What is this? 11.5? It's enough. 11.5. Uh, hold on. 11.5 times 2 is 23. That's too much. Technically too much, right? What about now? How's that the same? Oh, I didn't do anything. There we go. 11.4, that's 22.8. Yeah. What if I also take that out? 11.2 is 25 times that one. That's actually good. That will require one of these, require eight per second, but this one is producing way more than eight. Yes, okay, so it doesn't have to be inbound like that. And I, I do want to do that. Okay, never mind. It is what it is. I, I'm, I'm happy about this one. This one goes all the way in, and this one goes all the way out. And that should be pretty simple. We just need to figure out about the power poles, which I... Ooh. Well, do check it first, though. So, as much as our city block design is kind of working, then in this case, yeah, it did need something else. And this will now be half, half, a half blue belt. And then I can take that out for now. Yep, that's out. And that goes also out to this point. And I'll just copy this, flip it, and put it in. Should be all good. Wow, that's a lot of junk here. Right. Well, what if I built power in here? Would that be sufficient? No. It definitely would not. So if I build it here, that's not gonna be working. If I build it here, then I still have to build it on that side as well. Let's kill the outer ones because it has to be contained inside here. And that one. I wonder if this is It's 
better up here? I don't know. I don't think it matters. But we need to make here. That's good. That one. These two merge together into one half red belt. One half blue belt. There. What about now? 22.5. Ooh, that's crisp. Everything's good. The gears look like there's a deficit, but since there's such a vast uh, surplus here, I don't think that's going to be a problem. And we have inbounds. That one, that one, and that one. That is our design. It's pretty good, actually. It's pretty nice design. Now I'm going to cut it out. And our inventory is junk. Oh, damn. And... Yeah, that's... Because that's one is here. Come on, just pick it up. Just pick it up. You can do it. Nope. It's this damn thing here. Okay, don't... This is why I needed a even distribution in my playthrough here. All right, I'm going to disable. And then we are going to build something that makes more sense. And I think I'll build it that location because that's kind of a bit over and then a bit in but not too much because actually now that i think of it we are going to build it that's this is 22.5 per second and this is then there there and yeah if i do this one two three four then okay if I do it this way, it will be 540. Yeah. And since this is green circuits in, but no, that's the iron inbound. Damn. I should maybe have switched it so that the green circuits are on the inside. Yeah. Maybe I should have. So that's the. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Yeah, they're really far from each other. Okay, we'll, I'll try it. No, 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 no. We build it ethereal first. That one. And then this will be the modular build. And then I can take out everything else. And then I'll build. All right. One, two, three, Four. What's the point of this? Well, the point is that this will be green circuits in and I will be consuming less than half a belt. So I can actually make this make this balanced by forcing them to only get half a belt each. There. And then one will get only one side of the belt, the other one will get only the other side of the belt. And that's actually guaranteeing a much smoother consumption because now each one will consume from one side of the belt and this one will be a full belt and that's good okay guys yeah typical right typical uh i'm still gonna send you out here for just some random roaming there yeah, that's a long roaming and uh, while i am distracted anyway that's uh, built this one as well there and over on this side we got all of that done. So on this side, we can build our next row. And on this side, I will make you with crafting just, just that part for now. Good. All right. I like this. This makes a lot more sense. And what I'm then going to do is I am going to get up here at the top. This is going to be the iron in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then a gap of two, one, two, three, four. That's gonna come inbound. I like it. And then we need a... Ooh, this might not actually be the best location because this one is designed like this to be unloading four lanes. If I need to unload eight lanes, it actually has to move four lanes further down. And if it moves four lanes further down, then it probably means that I need to do something along the lines of this. 
Re-enable. I think that's the way to do it. We take the top one out. And I really am now insistent on using this pattern. Like, only using the ones here. And... That's good. This one will go merge in here. Yep. And now I need an unloader that has eight unloads. And that is the one that has eight unloads. Ooh, it's a bit high, isn't it? Ooh. <laughs> did he say that? I think he did. And this is unloading. Uh, this has it on the top. But didn't I also decide that everything was on the bottom? Yeah, yeah I did, actually. I did. Let's go with another. Ooh, that's not good. We'll, we'll take this one and then deal with the repercussions here. First, unfortunately, I have to build that one just to make sure that I align it perfectly. Yeah, this will be one off. How is that one off? Damn. Could I move it? First of all, all of that junk goes out. All right. Yes. And oh, definitely not send something in here yet. Definitely not. There. Good. That might crash some train somewhere, but I don't care. We'll not crash it, but at least <sighs> this one is too high. I really want this one to be further down. Right there. How would I do that? That's, I mean, it, it must be possible, right? It must be possible. That can go like this. Yeah. And then you can jump like that. Then the next can jump like that. More attacks. Still the same place. How are you guys doing? You're doing fine. And uh, you're just let's go back and get you repaired. Just because. So this is now sort of the new way, and it wouldn't happen before because it so yeah. Actually I don't want you to build that right now. That's that's kind of not where we are right now. Uh, this one should be built just in a second. Right, so that's good. And then I will copy this part here. Because that should be pretty stable in terms of just being a repetitive one. Yep. This will now be green circuits inbound. There. Except this will now be four lanes and I'm going to find a design for this here we go that should be easy just to copy paste it in and it will be exactly the same location as that and we'll of course need to get those uh, the different values I will enable you again so we get this built and I need a 4 by 4 balancer splitter thingy here without that easy and there will be some connections from here to there yes and from here to that one except it's not oh it is actually here no 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 that one and from that one to here does it work it says two Good. That one says two as well. And that's because it's all... No, no, this is actually correct. But this is not correct. This is correct. <laughs> Everything is correct. wonder why it's only building two, though. Why is it only requesting two? It cannot request any more than two, then. There's a lot of complication here. 
if it says up to 72 with the maximum i'm just getting curious now what i'm doing here that is 32 so if i do 32 boxes of 4000 4800 that's 153 i i could definitely get this one further up and i definitely also should so this would be like 108 and then it would be three yes so that's it's eight lanes it definitely needs to uh, to be a bit more aggressive here uh, I'd like to build it here, but I have a feeling that this one is only going to work if I put, uh, if you are using the same mod pack that I am with the squeak through, and if not, then I'm providing a blueprint that might not work. Let me know actually if if you have this issue. Uh, is this a valid location if you don't have squeak through? That's a question because if it isn't, then I'm going to build it like this for now, even though it looks well, obviously not as good. I just, it just occurred to me that maybe that position would actually be due to the smaller hitbox size. Hitbox sizes, well, that's also going to look better then, isn't it? We'll do it this way. Even though it's now not balanced around that one, but you can't have it all. Or can you? And I will go back here. Okay, and the next last, the last one here, it's going to be simple and it'll be right there. Let's get the builder trons in here to do the heavy lifting on that part. And I'm going to pick up more stuff as well. Huh? Have I run out of, oh, I've run out of rails, but mainly I've run out of this part. Maybe that one and all right, go, 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 fly my minions, fly. And this will obviously be having a new name because it's going to be the greens, right? The design here has taken a bit more time than I had anticipated. That is now good. This one just got done because, well, of course it did. And this will be half a lane, but it will be balanced on both sides. So we'll go there we go. That sounds good or looks good. And no, do a balancer. That was somehow difficult. Uh, one, two, three. Nope. Three. Now that goes back in. And are these capped? No, they're uncapped. And they probably should be at least somewhat uncapped. That goes in. Uh, let's make sure this one gets built. All of this is pretty simple. And then I need something that looks somewhat nice on this side, like that. That looks nice, right? Yeah. Not really anything I can, oh, no. Nope. It has to be, has to be consistent with the rest. That one. Except the last one. Last one, no consistency at all. Go. 
you can also go up here to just help out on this that one. Desperately trying to simplify this a bit. And there we go. All right. I think this is going to work flawlessly without without a hitch. No questions asked. Immediately. Perfectly. And all that stuff. All right. So here. That one. And. That one. Sweet. This is. This is going in and not quite though. This is no connection here. That is going into a random location. That's not really the one I want. This is requiring three plus two. Oh, it's requiring copper. That's not what it is. This is not copper. That one. Yeah. Then if I copy this, then this one is actually going to be incorrect as well. It is indeed. There. Yep. Good thing. Hey, we spotted an error. That's nice, I suppose. You can go, just keep going in there. You can go in there. You can go in there. Never mind. I can do that myself if I want to. There. It's all good. We'll just let it go back. I think it's time for us to power this up. The one way to power it up is simply to put this one in and then see if it works. In the meantime, we can go to our dashboard. This is our dashboard. This little bit itty bitty thing. That one is now showing alert. And let's head back here and there. Now it should show an alert as well, because that's running out. And I am now getting, well, the iron is coming in. That's to be expected. Why don't you can go back and military once you can go down here. You should be refueled, right? Yes, you are. On this side, keep going here. Did we make this one? Yes, we did. So we can go for the next. That's the majority of the work is on that one. So you can see we're slowly building all this out. I am not getting any copper. Why are we not getting any copper? One, two, three. Oh, that's not copper. This is green circuits. Why are the green circuits not keeping up? Are they not keeping up? This is fully saturated. Do we simply not have green, enough green circuit trains? I think that might be the case though. That might be the case. I'm gonna be at, I only have four of those. And we certainly have enough right now, at least. There, now they're ready. So I get two more green circuit trains. And yeah, it's not because it's blocked or anything. It is coming in. So it's a simply a matter of the green circuit trains. I just only had, how many did I have? Well, not enough. I only had four of them and now I have six. And we clearly had enough. We could clearly support more that one that's going to be our green circuit our, our green science train green science train logistics train there wow that design actually took a bit more time than i had anticipated because we had to redesign the whole thing which i think is fun and uh, let's have a look at oh no where be the lights where be the lights how did i design something without lights and uh, let's see where's a good location none of these are good locations so maybe there, and maybe there, and maybe there. Those are good locations. And then I replicate it on the other side. Sure. And there. Now we have the lights. Now the only other thing that's relevant about this is how much is it actually producing? Well, if it is producing anything. 
it will be producing per second 90 per second and per minute it'll be 5400 exactly what we need now there will be no surplus here so it'll be the theoretical maximum it won't be the actual stuff that's being produced please let that be a green please let it be a green so we don't we do not have we have not lived in vain here Right, so I had lots of glorious plans, like bring it back to the base and upgrading more blue circuits and probably other things as well that I can't even remember. But there was one point that we did get like here, adding this one to the network. Yep, it's done. And the other thing was renaming one of my blueprints. That was incorrect. Oh, look at that. Now suddenly from having none of them to having extra ones. All right, let's uh, have a look and see if it's actually working. I mean, I can't just let it... Go. Is it keeping up? It might be blinking here once in a while, but... That's not really... I love the fact that I can just design this in one go and then it just works. Well, it's clearly not there yet. Sign power? How's the power like? Uh, okay, so right now we are... Solar panels are building up again solar panels the new the steam turbines are still carrying the majority of the weight but every night the accumulators are kicking in so that's also a noticeable thing okay this is now a full belt and that's a full belt damn it that's awesome damn it if that isn't awesome i don't know what is i mean i think it's awesome i like it and what else this is working this is kind of working kind of and they're just getting out there. This one's getting out there. Okay, so right now it's just a mass of... We can do that. And we can also do that here. Let's just get some of it out. Funny how this was going out faster. And now it's going to slow down because it goes into this water domain. And this one was going slower because it went into this gigantic water domain. But now it's getting bigger. Let's have a look at the amount of landfill do we have landfill in here yeah 59,000 it's still good this one is idle why is it idle uh shoot that's weird okay yeah it still has enough still has enough and that means these out here they are yeah they're ready to go they can just be loaded at a moment's notice not this one but it still has several loads here and the last one. Okay, we, we should be good on uh, on landfill for a while for now. And yeah, so that's not a problem. We'll just let our green circuit here that is flowing. And we have now 8.8 thousand. And of course, we're still going to have the, the issue. This issue will, the green blip here will only go away when the train is full of 32,000. And there's another 32,000 stuck here. I'll have a total of, I don't know, a lot more than that. If I capped it at, if I capped it like this, then I could have 2,000 in here times 4, 2,000 times 4, that's 8,000. 8,000 here, and this train could load. Okay, so if I cap it like this, then I can have two trains waiting. If I cap it like this, I can have four trains loading, waiting. Definitely like this. I don't want to really overdo it like I've done up here. This one is 153,000. I think that's too much. I think it would be better if I capped it at about 4,000 each one. That would be 4,000 times 16. 64,000. That's actually not much. Hmm. So this could be one, two, three loads then. Yeah, three full loads waiting plus one inside. That's much better. That's going to be how we build it for now on. Good, but this is working. It's flawless. It's perfect. Everything is happy. I am. Uh, there's nothing more to add to this one. I think it's working, except the only thing to add is, of course, putting it into a blueprint so you can put it into your own base, add your own leisure if you are playing along. I really appreciate all the people that are playing along, and I think it's a really cool way. It's also a great way for you to spot mistakes and errors in my build. And... Uh, yeah, uh, there are some of those. So we are going to wrap this one up. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, 
be sure to leave a like. And uh, if there's something you want to see more, less, different, uh, good ideas, bad ideas, also bad ideas, yeah. Uh, just uh, leave a comment below. I do read all the comments. I don't always reply to all the comments. Uh, I hope you understand that. And, and I also just uh, really appreciate when someone else answers a question that so I don't have to uh, when it's already sort of explained or where the blueprints or where the safe games or whatever that is. Anyway, thank you for watching. Until next time, take care. And as always, stay effective.